Oh, Who we are, the Killer Blue Wells. You'll learn about our story a little bit later. But we uh, want to introduce ourselves in the video that we'll share. Uh, give a big early shout out to our coach, Brian Sable. And turn your attention to the screen. Thanks. Their vision is to strengthen communities by providing a welcoming place for people with diverse capabilities grow and thrive through the profound connection between people, forces, and the natural world. Thank you for the outdoor action learning team to diversify their clientele. Our team identified and developed strategic partnerships and local initiatives to expand their diverse population. Then that team so our project was for with the leaders of the PTOT, or Pediatrics Department at Atrium Health, Winston Lake YMCA, and Kimberly Lake Elementary, each expressed openness, intrigue, and excitement about the possibility of collaborating with River Blue. These potential collaborations are significant because they primarily serve black and brown communities. So we came up with a marketing and advertising plan to help diversify Riverwood's clientele. Some things that we recommend. <laughs> their website, dancing their social media, and also adding a newsletter and just good old print advertising for these wire mail around places. One thing that we really want to emphasize is storytelling, um, streamlining information to make it so that people don't have to dig through the website or the social media to make everything um, to find the answers that they're looking for. And to tell, again, like I mentioned, to tell their story. So tell this guy's story wherever you would. When we're posting about him or her, Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who's riding that tent? What are they learning that day? How did they come to Riverwood? Just share the story so people can envision themselves on the horse, vision their child on the horse, vision their, vision their organization on the horse. So tell stories and streamline information. We research other therapy riding facilities to gain better understanding of how they're increasing revenues for non disabled rider opportunities such as camps and increase fundraising opportunities with events and virtual events likewise. When we presented the river, we were able to provide them with a list of potential partners that were actively ready to engage and start the conversation of how they can be trade long-term partners with them. We also included some marketing opportunities for them and ways that they can improve their website as well as their social media posts by providing real-life examples of things that they can do to better engage with their community. We also provided them some opportunities to improve their fundraising, increase their revenue coming in, that will help them support some of these initiatives that they're working towards. We also provided them with some things that they need to be considering as a team as they are entering into this new chapter in their organization. Three, two, one. Oh, Three. So we do at the end of the week. 
well, uh, folks in the community, nonprofit organizations, making sure that we make the uh, impact as far as our community is concerned. Mr. Stella is mine and is our community. So we're really excited about moving forward in that area. So Elizabeth this said, I will tell you, if you want someone that stays calm, cool, and collected, that can handle anything, she's your woman. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, we just want to say we incredibly appreciate this opportunity to work with you all and to work with um, Leadership Winston-Salem that has really transformed our organization, especially at such a point of growth and change and transition that we're going through right now. Um, and I definitely agree that this is the most exquisite team <laughs> up here today. <laughs> um, and just really enjoy getting to know each and every one of you through our team building, through various meetings and over emails as well. And just thank you so much for all of the heart that you poured into this and the intention behind um, the project that you put together. It was incredible. Um, but speaking to their project and what they have done for us, they've contacted quite a few community organizations um, to get the word out about Riverwood, um, but more so to start building that community. We always say from the start of Riverwood, um, which started about 30 years ago, um, that our community is the heart of our organization. And without our community, without the trust and relationships that we build, um, we don't have um, our organization to the fullest of its capacity. So. We are so incredibly grateful for you all and all the work that you've done, and we're going to continue to um, pour into it and carry that on. So thank you. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Since we have all of these organizations here and so many leaders that represent other nonprofits and whatnot, one of the things they need, Elizabeth is carrying so much on her shoulders, they're, they're little ponies, they're uh, neo. Uh, wagon that goes out to different locations and educates people can go to any of these festivals, any of your activities. And so I would really, we would really appreciate it if all of you sought out Elizabeth afterwards or went on a website and you can just, they'll come out and they do all this for free and educate. It's a great addition to anything you're doing. Everyone loves a pony. Everyone loves to worry about horses. Um, and they go to college campuses, they'll go to your fairs, the festivals, all that. So I think it would add to all of the different organizations here to have her come out. Awesome. Awesome. All right.